It's one of the most famous pictures of the 20th century, the moment Americans learned of a Japanese surrender. It was the moment that you come back from the Pacific and finally you know the war ends. 89-year-old George Mendoza says he's that sailor in the photograph that would come to symbolize the end of World War II. And Greta Friedman, the nurse in white. I did not see him approaching, and before I knew it, I was in this tight grip. How long did you kiss her? Not long. As the perfect strangers locked lips, world famous photographer Alfred Eisenstadt snapped four pictures. Ten seconds was all it took. The excitement of the war being over, plus I had a few drinks. So when I saw the nurse, I grabbed her and I kissed her. Did either of you see the picture when it was first published in Life magazine? I'm, I'm sure I saw it. So did you recognize yourself? Yes, of course. I mean, you don't forget this guy grabbing you. <laughs> no, I did not know the picture was taken. Greta was a dental assistant on break, heading to Times Square to verify rumors of the war's end. George, a first-class sailor in the Navy, was on a date with another woman. They went their separate ways, not formally meeting again until 1980, when Life magazine asked the previously unknown pair to come forward. George's friend noticed the picture in the magazine. He says, I know it's you. I said, you're crazy. This was 1980, 35 years after the war ended. The first time you saw the picture? That's correct. But they weren't the only ones claiming credit. For more than 30 years, others said they were the ones in the photo. And for just as long, George has fought to set the record straight. I started my research in 2007. He found an ally in Lawrence Varia, a Rhode Island history teacher turned author. In his 2012 book, The Kissing Sailor, Varia argues the evidence rules out everyone but the retired fisherman from Middletown, Rhode Island. It's a story about our nation, World War II. It's a story about a kiss. It's a story about a place. It's a story about a publication. But at the end, it's, it's a story about two national treasures who for 60 some years never got to do that was theirs. The best proof there is is my date. The face is seen over the sailor's right shoulder. In fact, his date, Rita Petrie, can be seen in the background smiling from ear to ear. So the first week you're dating? Yeah, so. And he's kissing another woman. I know, but I, as I said, I don't know either. I was dopey or something, but it didn't bother me. <laughs> it must not have. She's been married to George for the last 69 years. Women still come up to George. Oh Lord, yes. Strangers, you know, if we're at a different function or something, and they'll come up that he's a kissing sailor. So the kissing sailor has to think he's got to kiss everybody. So he does. Everybody gets his kiss. I have to admit something to you, Rita. Yeah. That's Very nice. He's kissing me. You, I wouldn't mind him kissing. Very nice picture. People still write to George asking for autographs and offering words of encouragement. He described a letter with us. He states something like, uh, it must be something great to be involved in a photo that means the end of World War II. Well, I'm proud of that. And so is a nation that 70 years later is still mesmerized by that timeless kiss. <laughs> the, the nurse Greta Zimmer Friedman said of the kiss, it was just somebody really celebrating, but it wasn't a romantic event. She passed away in 2016 at the age of 92. George Mendoza died two days before his 96th birthday. He is survived by his wife. The two celebrated 70 years of marriage. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, initially I thought, gee, that's a really bad sign on a first date when the guy grabs another woman and kisses her and you're standing right there. But then I was like, yeah, end of war. Well, like End of said, war. That kind of celebration. Kissing is, sailor. He's got to kiss everyone, right? You know, I think it's adorable. Very I love sweet. them. Aww.